What's going on guys and welcome to another really really cool mod showcase on the channel. This one is the Ratchet and Clank mod. Now a few of you... Oh no I flew over it! No! No not the chest! Anything but the chest! Okay good. Okay. Um, a few of you may know this game. This game is kind of an old game that um, I used to absolutely love as a kid. I used to play it all the time and this mod introduces features that were in the game and not only introduces them, it really does them justice. It has brilliant textures on them and look at this. This is just straight out of the game. This is the Gadgetron. This is where you buy your guns and all your cool things for bolts. So guys, the first thing we're going to look at is the bolt system. In the game, this is how you do it. You don't craft the weapons, you got to buy them with bolts. Alright guys, so let's check out these bolt crates. To make them, you've just got to surround an iron ingot with any type of wooden plank. That will make you your bolt crate where you can just place them down and then you can break them for bolts. And look at this, it looks epic. So cool that the bolts just get attracted to you just like in the game. It has all the same noises, they kind of look like 3D bolts. Just so sweet and that is the currency you can see just at the top of the screen just up there <laughs> it has uh, 2700 bolts I now have so I'm breaking all the crates and uh, yeah these these kind of work like sand as well guys so if you drop that it's all it's gonna come down so let's see how much we got so we don't you don't get it out of every single one of them and you get different amounts out of other ones so it's 3300 we got now let's put that away so another thing that you may have saw at the start is the TNT crate. So I kind of jumped over it and it blew up. So this kind of works. It works in a different way to normal TNT. All you got to do is touch it and it goes and you can hear the noise. It goes off and boom. So that's pretty easy. To make them it takes four TNT and one dandelion yellow in the middle. And that will make a TNT crate which is pretty cool. I like them. Um, the Gadgetron vendor. Let's have a look how to make that. So, you need a vendor core, which is a diamond surrounded in an orange dye. Then you need uh, four obsidian, four blocks of iron, and the vendor core. And that will give you your Gadgetron vendor, which you need to get all your cool and epic guns. So here it is, guys. This is where you can get your guns. We've got the blaster. It gives you a price over here, and it gives you a description. So the blaster is a great all-purpose weapon. Even though its range is limited, its high rate of fire makes it deal ideal for taking on tough enemies at close and medium ranges. So you can either buy it or keep going to the next one. We got a bomb glove, throws bombs at your enemies. We got the pyrocitor, which is 2500. This fearsome weapon really shines at close range. Great for taking out Let's those go, pexies. Ho oh, ho, he's talking to me. He ain't got all day, so we got to go quicker. Uh, great for taking out those pesky small enemies. So we got the Rhino, which is 150,000 bolts. It's work in progress, and it's insane. It's the most powerful rocket launcher in the galaxy, which is absolutely crazy. So let's buy let's buy a blaster, and then if you want and it's not full, you can put it up here and it buy 125 ammo for 125 bolts. So now it's full and ready to go. So let's scroll over. All of these have amazing textures. You can see the ammo up in the top left. And let's shoot them. So a few of these weapons are a work in progress. They might not have sounds and they might not actually explode. Like that one. Doesn't have sound. That's the blaster. Doesn't have sound or explode but it does do damage. So let's just try it on this guy. And boom. So there you go. Four damage. And... Where's it going? It's it actually is really long range, which is cool. Even though it says it's best for short to medium. I'm trying to get this guy. It's not easy. There we go. We got him. So that is the blaster, guys. I have a list of all of the weapons in here. The ones up the top here are work in progress. They do not work yet, but I'll show you them anyway. And the ones down the bottom all work. So let's jump into that. All right, guys. I have got all the weapons that work. So we've got the bomb glove, which will shoot bombs at your enemies. So it just kind of looks like a really cool big glove at the end of my arm. It looks like my arm is extra long. An extendo glove for scratching my back. But here we go. This should shoot bombs. And there you go. 10 damage at least. So that's pretty epic. That is a really good weapon. Um, we've got the Rhino, which is the most powerful rocket launcher in the galaxy. Look at it. Nine slots. And look at that texture. It is pretty amazing, isn't it, guys? So yeah, let's have a look at this. This shoots nine bullets. It is still a work in progress, so it doesn't have the big explosions or the cool noise. It takes a minute to reload, but yeah, it shoots nine. So let's uh, put a cow down. Let's check out the rhino. Boom. At least 10 damage, guys, if not more. We've got the pyrocitor, 
which is a big flamethrower thing. So again, let's have a look. I'm just doing creative, so I don't need the ammo for all these guys. But there it is, that just shoots balls of fire. Look at that, how epic that is. That said, it was great at close range in there. Uh, we got the Walloper, which is pretty epic. Just a big glove. So let's spawn a cow, and let's try the Walloper. Boom, Wallop, Wallop. Wallop, well, the Wallop doesn't hurt them. Why not? Wallop doesn't hurt you. Okay, so that one's still a work in progress as well. Um, let's try the Vizzy Bomb Gun. Now, this one you're meant to be able to... I'm going to shoot it off here first. This is what it looks like. looks really epic and cool. You're meant to be able to shoot it off and control the rocket. So, unless I don't know the controls, then I don't think it's actually working properly. You can see it's, it's not perfect, but... Uh, you can see you follow the rocket and then once it's fixed I'm sure you can uh, you can control where this rocket goes which is pretty epic so let's see let's just hit this guy boom 10 hours let's see if we can get as far as this guy who boom and dead so that is pretty epic once that's all complete guys that's gonna be so cool and then we've got the taunter so the taunter just makes random noises which is meant to taunt your enemies as you can hear and uh, yeah, they're the ones that are working. So let's quickly look at the ones that are not. Um, let's have a look what we got here. We've got a drone. There's a few hands. Let's quickly get all of these out. So we've got a Tesla claw, which I'm sure is some sort of electricity, which will be cool. Uh, we've got the decoy glove, which still doesn't do anything. Like I said, none of these do. We've got another rocket launcher looking thing, a suck cannon which is meant to pull it towards you, a morpho ray which may, maybe makes you morph into what it is, it has a little chicken, uh, a mine glove which I'm sure does something with mines, a glove of doom, I'd like to see this one working, and the drone device, so that might be for controlling something else. So they are all the weapons which are being implemented but just are not ready yet. Okay, so. You may have seen throughout this mod showcase that I've been jumping and just kind of floating down. That's because of a little secret, guys. I have Clank on my back. He's a little Clank. He's a little Clank. So, watch this. He's the Clank helicopter Clank. It's a helipack. Whee! So, once I have him, guys, anytime I jump, I will float down. So, it basically takes off fall damage for me. And, oh, there's also an Omni Wrench. I'll show you how to make Clank in a minute. So, you actually, I'll show you now. You wear him on your back. Um, to make a Clank Helipack, you need three Helipack devices, iron bars, and an empty Clank. To make an empty Clank, you need six iron ingots, redstone, and a block of redstone, and a Clank Core. Again, a Clank Core is just diamond surrounded in lime. So, let's go back. Um, to make the Helipack Helis, it's just... Four iron ingots and one down the line yellow. So that's how you make that guy. To make the Omni Wrench, you need a block of iron with a three iron ingots. Now the Omni Wrench is pretty cool. It basically is a tool that allows you to do anything. Not at high speeds, but uh, it can do anything. So if you're digging, it will dig at the same speed as if you're chopping down a tree or going through stone, which is really cool and quite handy. Guys, if you're ever stuck, you always have the same, same tool for everything, which is nice. So that is pretty much the mod guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and leave a suggestion in the comment section of what mod I should show you next. This was a cool suggestion by someone from the last one. And yeah, I really really enjoyed this, I hope to see this updated more in the future. If you do too, leave a like, leave a comment, I'll leave a link to the mod in the description and I will see you in the next one.